my name's Ella. I write a blog called La Petite Anglaise, and at the moment I am in the midst of London Fashion Week. My blog is, it sounds really, really cheesy in name, but I don't know how else to put it. Essentially, it's very much focused on my journey in fashion. So I started it almost by chance. I decided that I wasn't going to do my academic degree. I wanted to go to Central St. Martin, so I decided to take a year out while I wrote this internship in Paris. And this was kind of way before blogging was the vast industry that it is today. Fashion Week is obviously the first Fashion Week I ever went to. So I was 19, I didn't know anyone, I just started my blog. I had like one show invite, so I kind of just went around the showrooms. And kind of within the past decade, or maybe a little bit longer, it's really come into its own. The designers that were the kind of the new talent are now much more establishment and their commercial players. If you look at someone like Christopher Kane or J.W. Anderson, they've got massive investment from the biggest luxury groups in the world. So I think London's at a really, really interesting stage now. And it is always very nice to come home from New York and be on your home turf. Obviously, blogging has absolutely exploded in the past, you know, within the time that I've been doing it, in the past four or five years. And it's gone from being something not obscure, but was kind of, you know, what people did in their bedrooms with the odd prolific blogger to being this huge industry worth a lot of money and a really integral part of the fashion industry. Um, I think it's probably the element of that it's very, very personal and it's something that a lot of girls, boys, people want to do. So it's literally how it's happened. And I'd like to think that readers like my writing and my outfits and my pictures, but I think I. I would say it's the element of personal, but I can never be sure. It's a difficult one to say exactly where I'd like it to go. I have lots of ideas. I would very much like to diversify because I'm, you know, I'm very aware that you know I can run around in a berry and knee-high socks now, I'm 24, but like, I can't do that in 10 years, it wouldn't be cute anymore. Um, so I'd really like to see you know, what the scope is to take what I'm doing now and develop into something new, whether that's product or different kind of collaborations or a column or a book or whatever. I kind of, I don't want to pigeonhole myself and I don't want to limit myself, but I also want to make sure that you know I'm still really enjoying it and I'm still giving my readers something they enjoy because ultimately if people aren't reading my site and enjoying it then there is really no point. In it.